Hey, what's happening guys? This video is for every one of you who says I've turned into a review channel. So what we got here are some electronic disco lights. So I was sitting around trying to think of uh, something I could come up with. And I remember that I have about 10,000 of these 2N2222 NPN transistors. And you can see I've used four of them here, along with a microphone module. So here is the schematic of what you're looking at. We have uh, a 9 volt power supply here. Our module is connected across it, VCC, ground, and the output. The output of our module, which is a microphone module and just reacts to uh, sound pressure levels, goes to the base of the first 2N2222. And you'll notice all of these bases are collect connected in parallel. So when it receives uh, sound loud enough to trigger it, it's going to output a pulse here. That pulse is going to trigger all of these transistors, which simply have an LED connected between VCC and the collector, and a resistor, in this case 470 ohms, between the emitter and ground. So let me power this up. You can see everything is powered up, and if I go doom, 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 our lights flicker. Let me give you a simple demonstration with some music. This is uh, YouTube free music. So with this particular module, and pretty much with any of these modules, you'll notice there is a trimmer potentiometer right there, and that is what allows us to change our gain settings. What if you do not have one of these modules? Well, if you don't have one of these modules, what you could do, you could use just... Um, if you had, for instance, a simple microphone capsule, what you could do here is we could modify our drawing. You know, for instance, this will be our mic capsule here, our plus and our minus. And what we can do is bring the minus down to our ground rail, the plus up to our positive probably with a uh, current limiting resistor maybe like around 1k something like that and then we could also take our feed right here imagine it's just just like a collector kind of decouple it with a capacitor like say 100 nanofarad and then bring that into another 2N2222 and take the, uh, again, the collector feed off of that and bring it over and that would work and do the same thing as well. So, I mean, if you wanted to play with this even more, right now these are sinking current. Say you could turn the blue ones around and make them source, or right, yeah, sinking current. You could just turn them around and make it source the current. All kind of things you can do. But uh, any transistors will work. Any NPN transistors will work in this in this format. There's no trouble with anything like that. All right? If you have any questions. 
leave them down below. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. If you're not a patron, please consider joining for about a dollar a month down below. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm out. Peace.